Hey friends, what's up? We're here at Ride Now Power Sports again in Austin, Texas to take a look at another bike. Let's go check it out. Okay friends, they rolled the bike out for me. It's right behind me. Let's look, a little sneak peek. What do you think it is? Uh-oh. And there it is, the all new 2024 BMW R12. All right, let's get into the engine. It's a 1200. Um, it's more specifically 1170 cc it's got 95 horsepower it weighs in about 500 pounds awesome nice seat and this is the uh, option 719 edition it does come in uh, two other colors which is black storm metallic and red metallic like i said this one happens to be the option 719 with the gold and metallic silver here in the sun you can see all that hopefully you can see all that flake in there it's really nice and the option 719 badging as well as on the brake uh, clutch and brake reservoirs a really cool looking bike let's take a look at the front end here it's got a 19 inch front tire upside down forks twin discs and a single disc in the back. It's got ABS and dynamic traction control. And it is a standard boxer engine, as you can see there, and with the shaft drive, which is very low maintenance. I have uh, the shaft drive on my RS, which I love. And boxer engines, what's not to love? The fuel tank here is 3.7 gallons and this cool little digital display. We'll get that started in a minute. So this bike is set up in a way that it's customizable. There's lots of things you can do to it on um, you know, aftermarket as well as the option packages. Spoked wheels, this one doesn't have it, but you can get those. Uh, the Headlight Pro, Tire Pressure Monitor, Shift Assist Pro, say that 10 times fast, Shift Assist Pro, that's basically BMW's Quick Shifter, Cruise Control, Hill Start Assist, which will keep you in place on those uh, steep hills, and heated grips. Okay, what really makes this unique is the saddle. The seat, the seat height is 29.7 seat height. Let me throw a leg over this. And five foot eight. So that's what makes this bike really unique. It's just the, the style and the seating position. It's got no rear seat, so there's no um, riding two up on this. But I can flat foot this no problem at five foot eight, 30 inch inseam. This particular bike comes with a key. There it is, the key fob has the key inside. Um, this does come with, uh, this one has cruise control here. Menu options, these are the blinkers. It's got an SOS, which is uh, unique. Usually these, I never saw these on BMWs in the US anymore, uh, before. These were typically for like Europe and stuff, but this is now in America. Um, start and stop, and here's your modes. So basically you gotta take the key here. Uh, this also works for the gas cap as well. You gotta open it with the key. Put the key in, turn it, and then up here is your power button. Push this on and you'll get the TFT to come on. Okay, so over here you got your modes. So you hit this, this has a rock and roll mode. So I believe roll is the kind of rain mode or the kind of the down down tuned and then the rock is you know more full full torque full power type situation similar to the r18 that has the rock and the roll like other bmws they've got this uh, the wonder wheel or whiz wheel here so you make your options on the screen here so you can see there's going to be some changes uh, with the trip miles per gallon you can go through all these menus and then you can use the um whiz wheel to to turn and choose different parts of the menu so let's give this a start and see how it sounds stock it has this unique um, exhaust here on the side which is pretty cool looking but i'm sure there's some really nice aftermarket options there but let's get this started and see what it sounds like
different friends. Well, this uh, engine definitely has a, a kick to it, like most of the uh, Boxer engines, especially the bigger uh, CC ones like the R18. When you start this bike, it's got a really cool character of, you know, shifting side to side, pulls a little bit uh, on, on you when you start it up. It's uh, very cool to feel. I just got used to it. Um, it sounds pretty good. Uh, I would probably do an aftermarket pipe on this thing, but uh, really cool. And you might be asking, you know, what's the difference between that guy and maybe the, um, the uh, R9T? I think really the engines are the same. They're both the same boxer engine, 1170cc, uh, air and oil cooled. Uh, a lot of the uh, parameters about the bike are, are similar. It's just this one is a little bit more classic styling, lower seating position. It's very comfortable when I sat on it. And aftermarket, you could really turn this thing into, you know, a bobber or turn it into something that's that's uh, definitely unique on the road. And you can also see here there are areas to actually attach bags, so you can put some uh, saddle bags on this bike as well use your imagination and see how you can really transform this bike into like a cool bobber especially with those uh, end cap um, rear view mirrors the lower seating position very cool bike all right guys that's it thanks for joining me for this uh, kind of walk around of the brand new 2024 bmw r12 there he is catch you next time See you later from Ride Now Power Sports, Austin, Texas. Bye-bye.